Welcome to this Windows and Computer Channel. This is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, October 19, 2018. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Microsoft that has started to test a new way to mitigate the Spectre and Meltdown flaws in Windows 10. Starting with 19H1, the next feature update, there will be a new way that Google has found to actually um, mitigate and not slow down your PC. Right now, PCs are slowed down from anywhere from 18 to 30 percent, depending on the machine, because of the mitigation effects. But this new way of doing things is actually pretty much not slowing down any PCs. So um, it's already there in the insider previews, apparently, and uh, will be, of course, uh, pushed to 19H1 uh, in next year, which is good news, meaning that your PC might actually feel faster on 19H1. New Ubuntu Linux version 18.10 has been released by Canonical, but also an interesting aspect of uh, its information that it sent is last version, there's a lot of people that were kind of uh, complaining about the telemetry options in the uh, Ubuntu version, but uh, statistics show that 66% of users opted into the data sending feature so that basically uh, they have some interesting stats. 80% of users did a clean install. The AMD64 version is 98% of the installs. 28% of people using Ubuntu are on a resolution of 1920 by 1080. And 51% of users have 4 gigabytes RAM or less using Ubuntu. So it's kind of interesting stats here that they are gathering from the community. Well, Google, we're talking this week about how it uh, is going to comply with the European Union in uh, the antitrust case. But now we also, you know, after telling yesterday, I'm saying yesterday that they were actually going to charge for apps and services that were once free, the Android licensing will also get a price hike. And that, of course, will be probably be passed on to the consumer as every device sold will have a licensing fee for Android as high as $40 per phone. So I think Google is kind of screwing the European Union right now with its decisions. Study says that new 5G phones will be more expensive and that this, for the most part, will actually slow down the adoption rate. And uh, they say that not only that, people often will not be able to distinguish why they should move on to some new device that has this new 5G uh, network and basically existing phones are still so powerful that um, the start to 5G might actually be a little slow. A report shows that even if Twitter is shutting down botnets uh, by the thousands each week, botnets are getting more and more sophisticated and they actually often fly under the radar, meaning that there's almost as much botnets sending fake news and meddling with all sorts of information. Um, as before. And of course, this shows how difficult the fight to have social media, uh, you know, free of fake news and, and, and all sorts of bad things is very, very difficult. Well, last uh, couple of weeks, we talked about how uh, eBay sent a cease and desist letter to eBay, to uh, Amazon, sorry, for stealing its uh, sellers. Well, now it's suing. It says that Amazon is using unfair practices to get sellers from its service into Amazon and that uh, this is something that should not be done. So we'll see what the outcome of this is actually going to be. Well, Apple has finally announced that it will hold a MacBook and iPad event on October 30th. And the new devices, of course, they need a refresh. They haven't been refreshed in a little while. Uh, we were talking this week about how, you know, sales of MacBooks and computers and Mac computers are actually really on the really on the downside. And uh, some analysts think that maybe it's because they're waiting for the refresh that's coming up. A study says that we need to attract more people into the cybersecurity works. Why? Because if you don't, uh, if we don't do any effort that the gap between the number of jobs available and the number of IT cybersecurity workers will get bigger and bigger up to 2025. So this is a field where there's a huge expansion due to all the threats online and that there's many job opportunities 
So, uh, hey, you're looking for something to do in your life? Why not be a cybersecurity expert? Apple has been tweaking content restriction rules for a while, but a uh, study that has been testing it out says that uh, even though you they are tweaking it and trying to make it better, many extremist sites and porn sites are still going through the filters and that it needs to be much better than that in order to actually make users safe. And finally, everything is set up for the Microsoft GitHub purchase. The European Union finally said, it's okay, we see no problem in this acquisition. So whether you like it or not, Microsoft will buy and have GitHub. And this is the Tech News Update for Friday, October 19, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.